Hey everybody, Jay Marino here. Thanks for joining me today. Playing Doom Eternal. We're in the cultist base. It's mission three. We're starting to use up those extra lives that we had accrued, but not your at a pace. Is nearby. A relic from your past. Remote location. Not at a terrible pace. Uh, okay, so our weapon points are going to be at a real premium now, because I want to level up lock-on burst, but I also... I also really want uh, to level up my super shotgun as well. Once we get it, of course. Because the... Whoop! Forgot about that. The mastery of the super shotgun is just so good. Two balls are ambient demons that wander around the world. So you can shoot them and they trigger an explosion. Sure. Attention, all mortally challenged personnel. The Slayer is inside the facility. Please proceed with aggression. So you just need to shoot them and they... They just blast forward and drop all their stuff. I think I blood punched a guy who was on fire. Just did a whole mondo worth of damage. There we go. Gotta kill these. Lock on bursts. Three rockets would have been done, you know, the same effect. Oh wow, those that does that like instantly kills this stuff. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right, you have to use the cue balls, I think. There's no there's no better way to do this. I don't <laughs> I don't know, man. This is ridiculous. This encounter seems like one like you really have to know what it's going to be going into it cuz it is a very it's pretty hard. It's also just a big trap, because there's the things on the ground. Yeesh, okay. Well, burned through two lives there, but that's okay. Again, that's why we have them, to get through bizarre encounters like that. There's one of the secret encounters. There's the map. See, like, who makes, who designs a base? And it's like, yeah. This is what we need in it. Okay, there's our sentinel crystal. Um, I think we want loot magnet. Finally, let's, we can upgrade our ammo, please. Jeez. All right. Uh, did the secret open? It did. I don't know what this encounter is going to be, so let's get out our rocket launcher. Mm, that's... Honestly, the glory kills are what take the most time. Hello? Oh, okay. Like, where, where is it? There we go. Not too bad. We need to recoup our ammo that we just spent on that. Right this way. I think we have to go... Well, let's check over here first. All right, I think we have to go down first. Because it's the only way open to us. I like how they're just caca demons floating around in the basement of this place. Okay, very nice. So I think... I'm just going to grab the 
top level item finder. I don't really need the other ones of these because I got the top level one. So now I can see where there are, where everything is. So I didn't miss anything in the first section. We're on track to have gotten everything in this section. Again, that it, it puts my mind at ease, which is the reason why I got it. Nope. Okay, well, I see what I have to do now. So it raises a it raises a monkey bar, which allows you to, allows you to swing up there. Which lets me get over here. Now we're up top. I guess this is where they're making the revenants. It's very limited, limited spaces in here too. Chainsaw also works great if you need a breather, just because again you're you're invulnerable while it's being used. That was a pretty, pretty tight combat encounter there as well. So there's a sentinel battery. It looks like, looks like we want to take this up. Yeah, and then we can drop on the other side. Yep, there we go. Okay, I think we're good. So now we're like at the very top. And I assume, yeah, we like jump through here, then go down and then come back up so we can grab the things that we haven't gotten yet. We should be in good shape. There's another Slayer Guide on this mission. This one, I might go ahead and make three parts. We'll see. We can mess around on the ship too. When you're on the elevator, you can't move until you get to the bottom, in case you were wondering. Found a bug. Okay, well now we're a revenant. This was a part that was demoed a lot. I mean, this whole mission was demoed before the game's release. It's pretty fun. I played um. a little bit of the battle mode and I play the Revenant a lot and it's uh of the of the mode that I've played which has not been a lot but uh it's fun like, I have way more health than all these uh than all these enemies. No problem. But that's just like a little taste of being able to play. I wish there were more sections where you could try all the other ones too.
Thanks. Okay, so now we have the meat hook, which is just... With our current rune equipped as well, it slows down time. So, I think, again, on one hand, I could start leveling up... Not that. Lock-on burst. Quick lock would be just, I think, absolutely worth it. Versus the super shotgun, which, like... These are good. It's more I want the I want the mastery. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get six points and I'm gonna put those points into uh quick lock, and then I'm gonna put everything new that I get onto the super shotgun to get that leveled up quickly as well. So now this is where ammunition's gonna be a bit more of a factor. Oh, he, he disappeared into the ether. We're experiencing some odd bugs. I thought the, that one was uh, Lost Souls, actually. One of these has Lost Souls, so we want a ranged weapon. I do like that I can, you know, I can break them open at my leisure. That one was just a random cue ball, but hey, there's a ton of ammunition in there. Oh my gosh. Just use the rockets. Can't afford not to at this point. Would have been good to light one on fire, but again, just couldn't, couldn't do it. Again, one of them has lost souls. It was this one. Okay, using a lot of uh, rockets, but I think it's worth it. Because there's not a lot of trash mobs in here to replenish your resources if necessary. That Mancubus AoE gets me a lot, that's for sure. Okay, there's a secret, but it's up there. I think what we can do... Yeah, okay. That looks like it, let's Attention. go. All cultist base personnel, please destroy the Slayer. The priest must survive, I repeat. The priest must survive. That's a lot of armor. These guys are just like walking through the traps. I think I'm safe right here. Just such an absurd concept here. All right, so we have a locked door there. That's punchable. Oh! <laughs> oh, we're at full. Okay. All right, let's go. This seems ominous. Do I just need to step on? I think there's just secrets in here. 
Uh, I think you need to activate the jump pads. Again, I played this once, just enough to kind of have a, a vague idea of what I need to do here. Okay, good. Then there's a secret up there. Okay, well like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wait. I wanna just make sure I have this for when I need it. Which I think is in two missions, but that's fine. Um these wouldn't be bad. Immune to barrel explosions. Also, barrels dropping ammunition is good. These are all frag grenades, and these are all ice grenades. Okay. All decent stuff. Such a weird... Again, it's like, it's a base. But it's so strange. Man, I forgot how prevalent lost... Well, they're not prevalent, but there are a lot more lost souls at this point in the game than there are later, that's for sure. They just sort of drop off. At least, it's really just the pain elementals that spawn them. Alright, we got our second secret encounter. And then the Slayer Gate. Woo! We're making decent progress. Alright, I can see a crack in the wall over there. And that's the secret encounter. And there's a one-up. Again, we're going... We're get, we're, we're I don't want to say we're burning through the one-ups, but we're definitely using the one-ups at a decent pace. I'm not messing around. I'm just going to use all my rockets. And then blood punch. Mostly because it's timed. So you just, I mean, it's worth using all of those resources just to get it out of the way. But that was tough. I don't know what those little slithery things are called, but you got two of those. This was a mistake. <laughs> I don't know why I hesitated. I saw the one up and I'm like, how do I get that? I just went with Reckless Abandon. Ow. I think I would technically be immune to those if I chose that upgrade. Is that most of the tentacles? All right, so we gotta get through there. Whoop! Son of a bitch. I see a secret over there. The only way up that I can see is taking this thing up. Into Sandy City. That's one of my favorite songs from Doom 2. Oh! <laughs> It's not the way to go. Okay. Okay, that was it. So, unfortunately, we're going into this, whatever this encounter is going to be, with low health. But it's fine, because we're always at low health, in some form or another. Oh, don't get- don't get close to the- Kaka demon, please. Oh, 
And you get back up to full HP. It's just that easy. All right, we're back to not having to use lives for anything. Again, only because I've done this before, I remember what to do here. And that magnifies it so it opens the door. Anything else? Again, we're getting close to that Slayer Gate. Okay, let's go. Are you growing tired, Slayer? Really? We will break your will yet. Uh, I already have the cultist key. This must just be a semi-secret, I'm not sure. That was a panic chainsaw. Remember earlier when I said they didn't want people to only use the super shotgun? If you're, you know, if you're adept at ammo management, you still can. We had to go down there to activate the button. Oh dear. That works out. Okay, we'll take it out the old-fashioned way. Thought I heard something still shooting at me. Obviously, we want to go up there. Well, let's just do it, and we can always we can see if this takes us to the key that we need to get through the to the Slayer Gate, or maybe not. I don't know. I think whatever we're doing, this is this is taking us to kind of where we need to be. Where is the key? It says it's down. Let's just... Okay, so we open up a thing. That'll probably let us get the Slayer key. And also... Whatever we need to do for that. So you automatically punch when you're dashing. If you dash into something that requires being punched, your guy will automatically do it, which is nice. Yeah, see, there's the key. So you have to come up behind it. So we're going to have to go down and around again in some way. I see. So there's another wall down here. <laughs> it's close, but we made it. Oh dear. Okay. We've got 10 extra lives. I think we'll be okay. Famous last words. I remember this one being particularly challenging. So if it takes a couple tries, it takes a couple tries. We're very close to the end of the mission. This one was tough just because it's got a lot of those Mankey Bai and Arachnatrons in it. But just keep moving. I don't know what, I mean, they must have blown up a barrel or something, I don't know. Of course, I took a shot at the one that was already weakened. And let's just not get cornered by, cornered by mancubuses. 
God. Yeah. See, they're smart. They know where your boy's gonna be. Oh, ah! <laughs> Each one we get rid of is sort of a blessing. Okay, now we got Prowlers. They're kind of like imps, but they're not. They're stronger. I gotta, gotta take what I can get here. Blood Punch actually bring it home for us. I hate getting so close to these, but I gotta do it. I needed ammunition. You have to get rid of those turrets. Got to do it. And I'm trapped in here, so get me out. Ooh. Yep. Just keep running. Kill. God, these Arachnotrons, they have so much health. You keep, you, I, they stagger and I think they're dead. They are never, they are never dead. I think we're good. One prowler. Hell yeah! First try! This one gave me a lot of trouble the first try. Uh, first time through the game. Gave me a lot of trouble. It took me like four or five tries at least. It was like 40 minutes of attempts. Nailed it though. And if you successfully complete a Slayer Gate, you get all of your HP back and most of your ammunition. We're looking good. We have everything but one pickup at the end. I think I split this video just at the right time. So we'll finish this around 30 to 35 I minutes. I fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. Is this... No. I think that's what... It's gonna open that one. Yeah. Okay, so we have one more piece of arena combat. Let us... level up our lock-on burst like I said I was gonna. Uh, I don't think I need the recharge time right now. Let's go for the super shotgun. Meat hook recharge is fine, but m coupled with the master, it's gonna be really good. As you can see... The meat hook, once you latch on, lights them on fire, which means they drop armor. Very, very strong. Okay. Ten extra lives, not too bad. Let's see what we got. Another crater suit. I can worry about how we're going to allocate those next time. It's a trap! I, You know, surprisingly enough, I sort of just hate the revenants. They don't have that much HP. But 
but I just find them mildly annoying. Maybe I overestimate how much HP they have. I'm not sure. You can see at the end of the day, this is all about juggling our resources. Look how fast we can shoot that lock on burst now, boys. Don't take me off the cliff, Jay Barino. You'll rue the day, sir. I will not stand for those creepy slitherers. I will not stand for them. Okay, got him. Wait. I lit the wrong guy on fire. That's not the guy that I should have been lighting on fire. That's a pretty cool combo I did on that Macubus, inadvertently. I need to find some trash. A, that was a fun one. That was a, that was a good arena right there. I like that one a lot. The priest has stopped moving. I will lock in signal now. Okay, so we finished all of our combat and we got all the collectibles. And that should do it for this level. We don't go back to the ship after this one. So I'll be ending on the score screen here. Watch our fanfare. Destroy an arachnatron turret, please! Alrighty, so I will be saving and exiting, but I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm having a good time playing it. We did use some of our extra lives, but we're, I mean, we're keeping a good amount of them stockpiled because again, the longer the game goes, the faster we're going to be absolutely burning through those extra lives. There's no way around it. They're going to be burned, but to have any of them in the bank is good, you know, rather than having to reload from a checkpoint, especially if you're like near the end of an encounter and then you die right at the end or something. It's, it's good to have one of those at least. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.